The maps give the robot the ability to target squares where it will have the highest probability of finding certain landmarks, which is crucial for the robot to find objects and the deposit zones quickly. This greatly increases the speed at which a set of RRBBCC can be collected and deposited compared to random movement. The last group, scoring actions, is more simple. A noteworthy point here is that the robot keeps track of the number of objects of each colour that it has picked up so that it will not pick up more than two of them in order for it to deposit the set of RRBBCC. Additionally, using a range of values will address the issue of the robot travelling too fast and not slowing down enough to stop on the object. This allows picking up to be much more consistent. Finally, we have the depositing function. Once the robot obtains a set of RRBBCC, its main priority immediately becomes depositing and it uses probability maps to find a nearby deposit zone. The robot will move until both color sensors see the orange zone to prevent the deposit from failing. Moving on to debugging. The functions are generally working as intended, but I had to go through many rounds of debugging, mainly involving printing out all the variables used in a function that I suspected was causing the problem. This would allow me to better identify and isolate the bug. The root cause is usually minor syntax errors or clashing statements in the code causing unintended effects on the performance of the robot. In conclusion, with this strategy, the robot is able to pick up and deposit sets of RRBVCC reliably and relatively quickly, indicating that the strategy is successful. However, there is always room for improvement. In terms of efficiency and effectiveness, the trap and wall avoidance functions can be further refined to improve their performance and consistency. I had a few learning points while preparing for this competition. Writing and debugging these functions taught me to break a problem down into simple parts that I am able to solve with what information I have, allowing me to find a solution faster. My most important takeaway is this. Don't ever give up on or procrastinate finding a solution to a problem. No matter how daunting the task is, leaving it for later will only further complicate matters. The rest of the video will be a run on the prelim map, so thank you for watching and have a great day.